My name is Fritz Haig. I'm an artist who lives in Los Angeles. And for the last 10 years, I've been doing a series of very small domestic edible gardens in cities around the world. I've now chosen to spend more time in Los Angeles at home and do more projects connected to my life and environment here, which leads me to wildflowering LA. So we've selected 50 sites stretching all the way from Topanga on the far western side to Pomona and the eastern side, all the way north to Lancaster, which is really wildflower country, all the way south to Palos Verdes. The sites range from public botanic gardens to public parks to people's front lawns, elementary schools, places of business. And at each site, we're, we're placing a very big carved wood sign that identifies the site. It looks like a state park sign. It looks very official and it's been inspired by that. The idea being that we're introducing some of that way of looking at the landscape and understanding the landscape from the state park into the city. The seeds get planted now in November. They'll be growing through the winter very slowly because it's cool and there's not much light. In about April or May, we'll be getting flowers. You'll be able to get a map and drive around the county looking at all these sites. We're at the Los Angeles County Arboretum and Botanic Gardens, which hosts the biggest uh, wildflowering LA site. It's almost one acre, and it's also the site that is um, the most public. So there's a constant stream of uh, public visitors to the Arboretum that are able to see what the kind of native landscape of Southern California and Los Angeles in particular looked like before it was urbanized. When we started, uh, in fall 2013, this was a flat lawn, which was removed and then we moved the dirt around, we brought in dead logs, we created these mounds, this kind of topography on the site, and then created these swales so that rainwater would be captured and moved through the site and kept on the site as much as possible. One of the most exciting things that we've been seeing on all of these sites across the county is the immediate arrival of wildlife, especially pollinators. So we've been seeing a lot of different species of native bees, uh, birds that really are enjoying the seeds. And part of the pleasure of the project has been watching the slow progress happen across the county as the seeds germinate um, and as they slowly grow through the, the cool um, temperatures in the winter. And then around now in May, um, we have this explosion of uh, color across the county for those sites that have been really performing. At each site, we've been hearing stories about, you know, not just the animals and their reactions, but the people and how they've responded. Because I think, you know, at certain points in the cycle, this can look like kind of chaotic to people who might be more used to viewing a hyper manicured landscape that always looked the same. So there's a story here that's very seasonal, that's very connected to our annual story here in Los Angeles, which is part of the goal of the project, paying attention to where we live, paying attention to the story of Los Angeles, which is very particular and extreme here. 